Your morning news now on this Tuesday. The U.S. killed the leader of Al Qaeda with a drone strike over the weekend. President Joe Biden authorized the strike on Ayman al Zawahiri. And it hopes to bring one more measure of closure to the families of 9 11 victims. Al Zawahiri was the group's number two under Osama bin Laden until he was killed in 2011. All the key plotters in the September 11th attacks are now either dead or captured. Today is National Night Out, an annual campaign aimed at building trust between the public and law enforcement that began in 1984. Local police departments around the country host demonstrations, festivals, and other events to meet the communities they serve. According to a Washington Post database, there have been more than 630 police-involved shootings this year. An appeals court in Kentucky has reinstated the state's trigger law banning abortion. Trigger laws are those that were designed to take effect in the event of Roe v. Wade being overturned, which happened in June. The ruling allows the laws to temporarily be enforced while the case proceeds in the courts. Planned Parenthood called it a, quote, devastating day for all Kentuckians, while others hailed the decision. An out-of-control wildfire in southwest Canada has triggered activation of evacuation orders. Thick plumes of smoke were um, shooting into the air from uh, that region at the Karemios Creek wildfire about 21 kilometers southwest of Penticton City on Sunday. The local government there has issued evacuation orders for 382 nearby properties. The Bikini Fire near the Oregon border now covers more than 80 square miles, making it the biggest fire burning in California right now. The fire is being fueled by high winds, a heat wave, and a buildup of dry brush. Two people have already been confirmed dead. Partly cloudy skies today and high temperatures warming up into the low 90s. South-southeast winds at 10 to 20 miles an hour today. U.S. House of Representative Speaker Nancy Pelosi arrived in Malaysia today for the second leg of her Asia tour. U.S. representatives have said that the United States would not be intimidated by Chinese saber rattling over the visit in Malaysia. Pelosi is expected to meet the Prime Minister and the Speaker of the Parliament's lower house. Top lawmakers have renewed a call to step aside from an investigation into missing texts related to the January 6th investigation. The committees are now requesting a record of communications and documents ranging from correspondence related to any decisions not to collect or recover text messages to communications related to notifying Congress. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers hosts press conferences in Peshtigo, Wausau, and Westby today to highlight his investment to support and expand Wisconsin's emergency medical services systems. The governor will also meet with recipients of the Neighborhood Investment Fund Grant Program and the Healthcare Infrastructure Capital Investment Grant Program. New PFAS rules are now in effect in Wisconsin. Two rules set regulatory standards for PFAS in drinking water and surface water. The third details requirements for using a firefighting foam containing PFAS. If the chemicals are found at a higher level than the standard set, steps to reduce contamination are required. The DNR says these rules will lead to a better understanding of where PFAS are located in the state and to a reduction in more contamination. A heads up for lacrosse drivers. Beginning today, St. Cloud Street spanning between Winnesheek Road and Gateway Court will be closed for utility work. That's that section that runs in front of Reinhardt Foods. The city's engineering department says construction should last through Friday, August 5th. And for today, we're going to be looking at that patchy fog early this morning before clearing out later today. The skies will turn mostly sunny for the afternoon, but then come closer towards the evening hours. It may turn more on the mostly cloudy side of things. High temperatures picking up to about 9 degrees this afternoon. And it sounds like we want to stay weather aware heading into tomorrow, Derek. Got yeah, some a couple of thunderstorms there. are possible. Okay, sounds good. Well, thanks a lot. Well, we want to thank you for joining us this morning. And don't forget to keep up with the news of the day at news8000.com. And we'll be back with the latest updates coming up at noon as well. And, of course, our evening crew takes over at 5, 6, and 10. Derek and I will see you right back here tomorrow at 5 a.m. CBS Mornings follows us here. Have a great day.